Oh, there's some Good Friday vibes for you. Glad you could join us here on Sunrise. That's what the show <laughs> is, is called. Where are we now? We are on <laughs> Sunrise. That's right. Of course, the Basilica Block Party happening tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. The weekend is going to be great weather-wise. So if you felt like you were rained out on the 4th, you might as well get out on the boat as well if you have one. Yeah, you know, definitely a weekend to be out on the boat. But pick up after yourself, please. Yeah, on Lake Minnetonka, they had to go pick up after all of the people who made a mess yeah, on and, Big Island. Yeah, and people are actually getting upset about the cleanup, saying, there shouldn't be a mess to clean up in the first place. Divers found sunglasses, beads, flags, and beer cans all around Big Island. We're going to have more reaction coming up in our show. A lot of people talking about yeah, this. I can yeah. understand the sunglasses. You yeah. know, yeah, they might fall the garbage. Come on, like beer cans. Yeah. Yeah, bring a bag. What you bring in, take it exactly. out. It's 2018, people. That's right. <laughs> you heard it here first. Let's see what the weather's like this weekend. Sven, what do you have yeah, in store? Yeah, litter bug, give a hoot, right? <laughs> uh, we're looking great, no matter what you're doing, whether you're still at the cabin, or going to the cabin or basilica block party or just hanging out 64 degrees still comfortable this morning even cool actually our coolest morning of the week thanks to that lower humidity we're heading to the low 80s this afternoon it's going to be just uh, pretty stellar out there the humidity creeps back in though over the weekend Ben, thank you. Our top story this morning, tragedy for a Minnesota woman while on a trip to Alaska. She was crushed and killed by falling ice. Now that accident happened on Wednesday. The victim, a 32 year old woman from Mound. Alaska State Troopers say Brittany Bogle was hiking a glacier in a national forest near Anchorage. She walked inside something similar to a snow cave when the ice above her fell, crushing her. Glaciers are always moving. The ice fields that happen close to the glaciers have water running under them, and that's what sometimes creates those bridges or those cave-like structures. Teacher at Venture Academy in Minneapolis, Ellery has more on just who she was. Yeah, it's such a sad story. She was such an avid hiker, loved to be outside. And Bogle taught math at Venture Academy, a charter school in southeast Minneapolis. This morning, her friends and coworkers are remembering the kind of person she was. She was a passionate passionate person. Mike Warner is an administrator and friend of Brittany. Everything she did, she did 100%. Whether it was teaching or traveling, whatever she did, it was 100%. In a promotional video for the school, you get a brief glimpse of her outgoing personality. She was a very, very, very good math teacher because she was great at relationships and she was great at knowing her content. The fact that she spoke Spanish it was amazing because she was young and bubbly and friendly and spoke Spanish. So Clara Catalan is a staff member and parent. She says Brittany helped her daughter Abigail like math and science for the first time and also coached her in an after school running program. She was also an advocate for families and that's one of the things that I really appreciated um, given my culture. Um, she was always willing to support those causes. News of Brittany's accident came as a shock, even more so because she was an experienced hiker. She'd be the last person you would expect to, to get into something like this traveling. This is what she did. This is what she lived for. Her family says Brittany loved to travel and explore the world and left us doing what she loved. Her mom, dad and brothers were with her until the very end of her last earthly adventure. Brittany was <laughs> Brittany was a great friend and a great family member. She had three brothers and our hearts are really with her family right now. Well, the family also thanked the first responders and bystanders in Alaska that helped after the accident. Next week, Venture Academy will have staff on hand to help students and families deal with the tragedy. Chris? In news headlines this Friday, the embattled administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency has resigned. Scott Pruitt has faced a lot of ethical questions about his travel spending, security costs and misuse of government resources. He denies any wrongdoing. In a tweet, President Trump said Andrew Wheeler will become the acting administrator. Take a look. Roads shut down in Phoenix rush hour because of a massive dust storm. Temperatures in the area yesterday were up to 114 degrees and wind gusts averaged about 30 miles per hour. At least seven members of the Patriots marching band from St. Anthony were treated for heat related illnesses while performing over the 4th. They marched in the nation's oldest continuous 4th of July celebration in Rhode Island. Temperatures were over 90 degrees with high humidity, but all the students are okay now. 
ConAgra is closing Boom Chicka Pops Minneapolis headquarters and moving the work to its Chicago and Omaha offices. The Star Tribune reporting the packaged foods giant bought Angie's Artisan Treats and its popular Boom Chicka Pop popcorn brand in September for $250 million in cash. ConAgra will continue making popcorn at Boom Chicka Pops North Mankato facility, which employs about 25. All right, thanks, Chris. Time now for our digital dive. So what would you do if someone tried to steal your car with your kids inside? Yeah, this happened in Dallas, Texas. Now, a man got into a woman's car while her two toddlers were inside. The mom then jumped in and told the man to stop. And when he didn't, she pulled a gun from the glove compartment and shot the suspect in the head. Now, this has gotten a lot of comments on our Care 11 Facebook page. Er saying, when it comes to your kids, you'll do whatever it takes to protect them. Judy says, no charges should be filed against her. And Amanda saying, mama bears are not something to be messed with. She's got a good point there. Of course, post your comments on our Care 11 Facebook page about this. And let's go to Sven now. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had another beautiful day on the way today, another comfortable day, headed in the low 80s. Humidity still low for us. It's going to stay that way all day long. Lots of sunshine. Uh, 82 for the high temperature and starting out in the 60s and 50s for a lot of places, but humidity and the temperature starts to creep up over the weekend. Looks glorious. Thank you, Sven. In other news this morning, more options for you Netflix addicts out there, but how much are you willing to pay for them? Yeah, the company's trying out a new plan called Ultra. Now you can stream videos on up to four devices at that Ultra HD 4K quality, but it'll cost $17 a month. That's about $3 more than the current premium plan. Well, a lot of people talking about the gender wage gap. Women earn less than men for the exact same work. But according to a new study by a parenting website, it starts way earlier than you might think. This study says that boys earn on average $14 per week in allowance. Girls, just seven bucks. Half? Really? Admittedly, now I am not sure about the methodology or the reasons behind this study, but your daughter may be asking you for a raise. And people in Hamilton, Ontario are reminding the public Police, I should say, reminding the public that a cold burger is not an emergency. A man called 911 on Sunday to report that he had received a cold hamburger and fries after ordering them through Uber Eats. <laughs> yeah, not an emergency. We do these stories all the time. People yeah. call 911 about the most minor of inconveniences. All, all that drama over like three bucks. Uh, I know. When really? you're drunk, that is an emergency. Uh, yes, that's true. Okay, okay, okay. I'm yeah. sure there's more to the story and <laughs> yes. alcohol involved oh, in that one. A cold burger after a hard night at the bar? Nothing worse. <laughs> hey, you know what's coming up in just over a month? The State Fair. It's always a good time. Of course, we'll be broadcasting live from the Care 11 barn, and one of our most popular attractions is Return. The Care 11 Penny Press. This year, we want you to choose one of the four designs. Go to care11.com slash vote now to pick a theme for this year's Fan Penny. Now, here are the themes. Cabin Life, Local Eats, Minnesota Wildlife, or one of our many landmarks. See the voting right there? Yeah, it looks like I was trying to look in. Is it Wildlife that's still wildlife winning? Wildlife is ahead. The landmarks uh, looks like it's second. Local Eats third. And Cabin Life is okay. way down on the list. Oh, people. Well, you don't need to see it on a coin. You see it in real life. <laughs> that's yeah, right. right. There's, that's why we're going to go with the Wildlife. That's right. <laughs>